Hello guys, my name is Rahul and watching movie tour. So guys, today I'll explain the difference between turbocharger and supercharger. Generally, both the charger has the same function to increase the power of an engine by pushing more air into the engine. Apart, both the charger act as a compressor, which helps the engine to intake more air so that engine can deliver a more power. As usual, many of us we hear the engine power on turbocharger and supercharger, but only a few of us we know its differences. So guys, today I'm here to clarify all your doubts regarding turbocharger and supercharger. So friend, if you new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel, stay tuned and press the bell icon to get the notification of the new videos. I'll try to explain the topic in two stages. At the first stage, we'll understand the basic information of turbocharger and supercharger. In turbocharger, a turbo means a turbine. There is a turbine wheel attached at the both end of the exhaust and air intake. While engine release an exhaust gas, the turbine attached to the exhaust started to spin as the result other end of the turbine spin and pump the compressed air to the engine. Once again, I will explain in a simple way. As you know that car release an exhaust. This exhaust gas spin the turbine which forces the compressor to pump the air into the engine to deliver a more power. So the cycle goes on. In this way, the turbocharger functions. We get turbocharger in Tata Nexon, Suzuki Bellino, Ford EcoSport and Jeep Compass. In supercharger, a belt is connected with an engine crankshaft and supercharge unit. As an engine spin, it spins the supercharge unit and forces the air into the engine. In this way, along with engine, the charging unit rotates and pushes the air into the engine, and the cycle goes on. In this way, the supercharge unit functions. We get supercharger in Jaguar F-Type, Land Rover, Bugatti Veyron, and Audi R8. Second stage, I will show you the close differences of both the chargers. Turbocharge produces a power by an exhaust released by an engine, whereas supercharge produces a power by a crankshaft that rotates charging unit. Turbocharge extract power from the exhaust, whereas supercharge extract power from the engine. Turbocharge work only after the sufficient exhaust gas produced, whereas supercharge work as soon as the engine start. Turbochargers are more efficient because it draw power from the exhaust, whereas superchargers are less efficient because it draw power from the engine. Turbochargers are lag in power delivery, whereas supercharger has an instant power delivery. Turbochargers are fuel efficient because it draw power from the exhaust, whereas supercharger are less efficient because it draw power from the engine. Turbochargers installed in and mid-range cars, whereas supercharger installed in premium cars. Turbochargers specially designed to achieve a higher speed, whereas supercharger specially designed to achieve a higher acceleration. Turbocharger require a maintenance because it draw power from the exhaust, whereas supercharger require less maintenance because it draw power from the engine. Turbocharger produce a power inefficient way, whereas supercharger produce a torque inefficient way. This is the reason turbocharger are good in high speed at higher transmission, whereas supercharger are good in initial boost at lower transmission. So the conclusion is simple, turbocharged engine are fuel efficient because it produces power from the exhaust, whereas supercharged engine are less fuel efficient because it produces power from the engine itself. This is the reason the supercharged engine are good in initial pickup, whereas turbocharged engine are good at attaining high speed. In all aspects, supercharged engine are made for the power, whereas turbocharged engine are made for the economy. We'll be getting turbocharged engine in mid-range cars, such as Tata Nexon, Suzuki Bellino, Ford EcoSport and Jeep Compass. Whereas we'll be getting supercharged engine in premium cars such as Jaguar, F-Type, Land Rover, Bugatti Veyron and Audi R8. That's all guys, hope you understand the differences. If you had any question then please write in and comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. If the video is helpful to you, like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, goodbye.